Hey guys, and welcome. My name's NG Paradox, and welcome to Loon. Well, of course, last time, as our lovely man, Emma the Holy, we were just trying to protect our family as the Duchess of Lower Lorraine. My daughter-in-law controls the lands, but she's having a bit of a rebellion problem. We're just trying to help out. It shouldn't be too difficult, and I can see that we have a bit of a... A disease problems. So we should probably close the gates. Shut the gates. Seal it. We must protect ourselves from the disease that threatens us from the outside. My son needs an education. Probably go of etiquette. Because he is likely going to be the future lord of our household. You know, he's my son's son. The oldest son. So you should probably give him a bit of, you know, etiquette. He needs to know how to deal with people. Be humble. Know how to work a room in that way. Be a good lord, basically. Designated regent, um, we will choose that. I'll choose the brother for now. Put him back on it. Um, the council people, yeah, because we sealed the gates, they can't really do anything, so that's fine. Other than that, yeah, we just let time go by then. Wait to see if we can defeat the rebellion. Those rebel scums will be destroyed by my hands. Oh, and there's some Polish men coming down here. They must be in the war between the Holy Roman Empire and I think it was Pisa. But yeah, so they're probably going to... Luckily, they're not coming towards me because they are red, so they would attack me. But we'll, we'll be fine. And they ended in white peace. Well, there we go. That was a bit quicker than I expected. Let's delete our man. I just saw my brother was actually in there. That means he was probably in all that disease. It's probably not a good idea. But yeah, now that we're in seclusion, we can't really do much. Um, I did also notice before I started recording, I forgot to say... I looked at the Benedictine Society. We're actually the next in line to be the leader of the Benedictine Order, which I have to say, Emma really does deserve to be the next leader. But the man who is leader is 53. We are 67. <laughs> I have a feeling that man is going to live a little bit longer than me, which is, uh, which is sad. Makes me a sad panda. Uh, what is this? Really? Really, we just helped you stop a war, and you already have a second war going on? Ugh. Okay, now, they're actually in Loon. So if I raise my men, they should be fine. Yeah, we've got full morale and stuff. Let's just do that, then. There we go. His armies are going to be destroyed. Good, good, good. Now, so I couldn't form up the army or you know, make sure I had good leaders and stuff, but still. And there we go. Victory. So destroy them there. 89%. Where are they from? Okay, so they're from up here. So we'll go chase them down. Make sure that we destroy them. Uh, we've got the gates closed, of course, yes, still. So we can't really do much there. Would like to see what we can do on our own duchy. Um, obviously, we got, we're we not in control of a duchy. We did get my, my daughter-in-law in control. And her children, which are our family, will inherit that duchy. It's not great, obviously. We would like to have our own duchy, but, you know, getting the family, getting the seed spread out, obviously, is very important. This is a dynasty game. I seclude myself. I mean, we're already secluded, so might as well. <laughs> might as well just seclude ourselves. We're already there. We're already basically inside. Might as well just continue with that. Domain is too big. Yeah, I know. It's fine. It'll be back to normal. There you go. Oh, no, really? My resolve is but Why did we go down? There we go. It's just because of that. Sometimes I find the game takes a few seconds to catch up. Has The alliance has broken down with hungry. My daughter's husband has died. Come home. You don't want to come home, my daughter? Fine. Okay, fine. So his son has got it. Form an alliance. He would not accept. He doesn't feel an alliance with a account in the Holy Roman Empire. It would be useful for a Hungarian duke. I mean, whatever gave him that idea? <laughs> I mean, it probably isn't great for him. That should make it 100%. There's no way they can come back from this. Daughter-in-law, you really owe me. You better owe me by not having kids. That's what I want. I want you to keep just having your daughter, and then your daughter can marry my grandson, and then we can inherit those lands. Bring the two sides of the family together. In perfect harmony. Perfect harmony. There we go, so that is done. Now against our liege lord, we could declare war, get independence, but there's basically no point. 
Really? There's probably there's probably is no point because it might be better to stay underneath her to eat up the people inside her. She does have six hundred men. We could just take Breeder for ourselves once the council can do stuff. Yeah, we're gonna stand in. If there's no point going for independence, we can't do factions because I think we're in the council. Yeah, we're we're the steward of my liege's council, so we can't really do anything there. Need a new marshal. Have to go with Eckbert. He's basically the only... I mean, he's the top one, but they're all terrible, to be perfectly honest. My son is back, though. Okay. Just make sure no one's trying to kill me, then. And you hunt those down. You fabricate claims on Breda. That'd be a very nice piece of land to have. That would be a nice one. We'll have to wait and see. Now, in Loon, we could build some stuff, but we don't have the money. It would be nice to get a hospital. We are, have been getting a bit of disease. Not too much, overall. But yeah, there's a lot of disease at the moment. Dying in suspicious circumstances. Underneath my daughter-in-law's lands. Hmm. What have you been doing, Commander? I don't know. I guess I'm on your council. Yeah, we'll accept. I'm a very good commander, has to be said. He's actually very good at leading men. See, I do like how the societies do allow you to get lots of different traits and stuff. Like, Emma has become a very different person than what we started with. When we started, he didn't have that many traits, but he's developed into his own character in many ways. But that does also make me think that joining society you shouldn't do every time if you want to do roleplay, because, you know, you shouldn't just join a society because they're there. You should do it because your character would. At least that's how I'm going to play it, because otherwise you're going to get the same traits and same things all the time. We probably actually want to invite some more people because we have a lot of uh, we have a lot of stuff there. Yeah, friend of devotion. We have a lot of devotion. We might as well use it up. Yeah, you know, while I'm still alive, or the fact we got a rash now. So we've now got a rash. He insists I follow his instructions. Attract the wise. Very good learning. Very well. I'll be I'll be put into your skills. I'm glad I hired him. Well, actually, he's my liege's uh, physician, but still very good. He's arrived at my court. So we've got this man. 42. He's much younger than the last one, but nowhere near as good. Yeah, he's nowhere near as good, but he's very good at learning. But obviously, this guy's much better. He's much better. And, of course, we have Franz there. Our oh, good old Franz. I like, I, like, I like the ones we've had. We've got some very interesting men. Can I invite another one? Yeah, we can just invite another one. Yeah, might as well just spend it. This will at least be the last one for now. Maybe we'll do a, a few more later. This guy's 42. He's a genius as well. I wish they weren't celibate. <laughs> but I guess they have to be. He looked like a good steward. 16 for Chancellor. It's the same as him. Might as well swap him for that one then. And this guy? Nah, no one's better than him at the moment. Collect taxes. Go to Loon. There we go. God's blessing upon thee. I have no headaches as well. Did we con? Did we get slow fever? I'm sure I. Did I shut the gate? Did I? Act no, we ha we have shut the gate. Abandon the commoners. So we did shut the gates, but apparently they've been opened. That doesn't seem right. That seems odd. I feel like something happened here. Like some glitch and I have a fever. Okay, let's look. Let's go seek treatment, please. My physician. Okay. I'm going to trust you, Mr. Wise. That, that's what we're he, hasn't, he hasn't got a family name. We just call him Mr. Wise because, you know, he's, you know, that, that's all he has. Very well. Hopefully he does a good job. Oh, thank you. The liquid in the chalice is warm and sour. It will chase the other heat away. Very nice. Okay, hopefully we're going to get better. Hopefully is all I can say. I do like the way the world looks, though. I do like the way it looks. Like I said, this is because we started in a different scenario, which I think is kind of nice. I've said that a couple of times, actually, I think. It's kind of nice because, you know, you don't have the Umyads destroying Iberia. And here we go. I have great pox. I, it wasn't great pox, was it? Yeah, it's slow fever. So this is something completely different. Oh no. I can't even seek treatment. Here we go. My court physician has come to me. 
Well. Gardener Humbleton. I think we just go for the normal one. He's, my life is in your hands, and your hands are graced by the grace of God. Whatever happens, happens. If I'm not meant to live, I will not live. Your eyes widen when Arak Atrak led a goat into your chamber. The foul smell of its flatulence made you both cover your noses. But the physician pulled your hand away. Apologies, my lord. This is the treatment. He recommended deep breaths. <gasps> <gasps> yeah, I think I breathed it a bit too much there. Yeah, I actually feel better. Okay, there we go. Come on, you're getting great ammo. You're getting like the best treatment money can buy right now. You're getting the best treatment anyone's ever had. You gotta make it through. You're 68 years old. You gotta beat that 54 year old man. Come on, you can do it. You've been with us from the beginning. I can't lose you. But your son, I mean, he's a drunk, I guess. Yeah, that's kind of his problem. Too much of a drunk. Too, too much. Ah, here we go. See, I clicked that last... Let me have a quick look. Huh. I'm sure I clicked that last time and it came up with something different. And I was saying I didn't like it. But this time it seems to have gone actually to the proper vassals. Huh, so you can see these are the vassals of the Holy Roman Empire. Bavaria's pretty big, obviously Bohemia. Um... This one up here is pretty big. Gare is our liege lord. Lower Lorraine is here. They've got pieces of land everywhere, which is not really good. These are dark days. My son has been beset by a high fever. <gasps> he is the slow fever. No! My son! Call from a physician at once. We have to save my son. He's now a lunatic. The fever's given him lunacy as well. <gasps> What is going on? He did a good job, though. I should... Yeah, well, of course we're going to compensate my physician. I lost one son to leprosy. I can't lose a second son. Emo can't outlive two of his young boys. He can't. I mean, I'm guessing I'd become his, his son, then. Rodolph. Yeah, it's his son. So his son would be next in line anyway. Him, he's only seven years old. Yeah, it'd be really bad if my son was to die now. Because we'd obviously go into a regency. There's no way around it. There's no ifs and buts or coconuts. This man, the wise, yeah. He should be our regent. He's a wise man. We trust him. We trust him with our lives. Lombardy's looking pretty nice. Swabia as well. Uh, Messin. The Feast in Breda. We'll travel to the Feast. I mean, we might as well. Provence is looking good. Provence. And the King of France. Thank you for having us. He has a weeping statue. A statue of the Virgin Mary. Every now and then a drop of water or even blood will trickle down from the statue's eyes. And what can only be described as a miracle. Created an unknown date. Obtained... 73. Wow, it was ages ago. Original owner, the mayor. Ah, so he took it from the mayor. <laughs> he was like, you can't have something so nice. That is obviously the king's. That's obviously mine. He's married to an Irish girl. Interesting choice. French with the Irish. I'm not sure that happened often in history. I know the French did marry the Scottish a bit, you know, due to the, uh, the sacred alliance they had against England. He's contacted me about his roses, of course. Yes, as a matter of fact, I've been making some of my own, are very similar. My own flowers. Let's increase the speed, actually. How is my sickness? I still have the great pox. My son no longer has fever, but he is now a lunatic. Oh, dearie, dearie me. It seems that Brother Franz has received a sample from my garden I sent him. Today, a Coria presented me with some elaborate coal sketches of the various rose species Franz has been occupying himself with. Included our ideas of new ones, provided we continue to work together. Of course, we do God's work. God's work of roses. Because God created roses, and if we create more roses, then we're like God, of course. That's how, that's how it works, isn't it? Yeah? You copy someone, you're just like them. As she's grown older, I can see that Benedicta could use some guidance in some of my experienced areas. 
Well, she's not even my child. She's one of my uh, courtier's children. Make a move at the right time, yeah. That probably fits it better. Got a nice little Croatia down here. Svakik. Svakik, I'm guessing. The assassins spread to Syria. The Hashashin, the elusive order of assassins, has expanded their influence into Syria. A branch of their set has established itself in the mountain fortress of Mashiaf. Mashaf? I think that's how you pronounce it. From there, they control the surrounding countryside, all across the Holy Land. Perhaps they should be taken seriously. The Alliance? What? Mice? No! No! <laughs> My other son died of put. What is going on? What is this? What? How has God forsaken me? He's let me live for so long and must make me see my children die. Why? Why, God, why? But yeah. Okay, that means we have to make sure she has no kids. She can't get married again. Please become a widow. She's not. She's going to get married again. That bitch. I mean, obviously, Emma would not say that. Emma would not say such a horrible thing. But I would. Poland's now in civil war. The fever has broken. Perhaps only temporarily. Oh no. We've now become a lunatic. So I'm now just like my... <laughs> so let, uh, okay, let's, let's look at it this way. Because, you know, I'm not an evil man. So remember, a lunatic doesn't necessarily mean you're bad. And a lot of people get confused because they see, like, you know, the Mad King from Game of Thrones. They think that lunatics are just evil. But I'm going to look at it as like he's a, like a, he's a zealous lunatic. Like he is, you know, just religion, religion, religion. That's all he cares about. Like, My daughter, take a vow. Take the vows. I demand it now. He's going to be like that, yeah. She's got good stewardship. Maybe the other daughter. She's too young. Yeah, maybe he'd just order her, like, take the vows. Yeah. Just stay in your court. Send. I forced her to take vows. She's now become a nun, my daughter. That's what you get. That's what God demands. He he spoke to me in my sleep. See, so that that's how I'm going to play him at the moment. Uh, my wife can't be can't be happy about this. Then again, I, I don't think she's ever been happy. <laughs> I'm sorry, my wife. I'm so sorry. We had three lovely children. I mean, one's now a nun. You know, she's brawny. I mean, she's brawny, but still. So you probably could have had some good kids, but yeah, I digress. It won't happen. My son's a drunken lunatic. Oh, God. Oh, dearie dear. How did we come to this? Did the disease leave? I probably should just close the gates. We can, we can now open the gates. This guy has to be Chancellor for now. He's not very good at it, though. I can't open the gates. Apparently the gates are already open, though. This guy, though, is still closing his place. Okay, yeah, it's just his choice, I guess. Okay, well, keep it like that. There's nothing you can really do, because you're going to just hurt things more than not. What? The Holy Roman Empire has declared a war against the Pope to pay tribute? I cannot stand for such a thing. Making the Pope pay money to you? The Holy Roman Emperor? That does not... I can't stand for this. I mean, we, we have to stand for it, but there's nothing we can do, but we definitely won't like him. That, that has to be said. We definitely don't like our Holy Roman Emperor. How could he do such a thing? How about you? She did get remarried. To an Italian. Of course she got married to an Italian. I've broken my fast with wine and quail. We lost temperance. Okay, we have to make sure that she has no kids. But obviously Emma is not going to do that. But his son is deceitful and a lunatic. So he actually might be... A possibility to do it. Then again, he is kind. Hmm. But he is a lunatic. And he's deceitful. I think I could, I could see him doing it for his family's line. Possibly. I guess if we get all those prisoners in my dungeon. Huh. Who are the prisoners in my dungeon? This guy. He's Dutch. He's Catholic. Yeah, I don't think he would. He's going to resist those family. I mean, if he, if he, I think he's now a lunatic. If he was like a a non-Catholic. I think he actually would. We're actually going to... Can we ransom? Yeah, we'll just ransom him then. 25. We do need a bit more gold. We lost a lot of gold. Um, trying to help in those wars and stuff. 
But yeah, I can't believe we're attacking the Pope. The Pope has 7,000 men, though, it seems. Yeah, Martinus the Holy, he's just like me. That young girl of finished her education. An intricate web weaver. Very good. Very good young girl. That guy has one marshal. Okay. Well, that's great. I can't believe this. We fought a war to gain this. And we might just lose it. Because of this stupid, naive woman. I, I, I'm sorry, not her fault. I mean, because my son was weak. Poor health. What the hell was he doing? And my other grandson. Because, yeah, because i am now become a lunatic of the faith, I'm going to push him to just go for, you know, religion and stuff. Like, just teach them all religion. We must all follow God. God has a plan for everything. He, he didn't kill my sons for no reason. Of course not. No, no. He can't have. He can't have. That's not how it works. If he killed them for no reason, then why would I believe in him? This, no, 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 no. Or maybe there is no God. Oh, my God. He's going crazy. He can't believe that they didn't die for no reason. God has a plan. With your strong devotion to the Catholic faith, you've spent countless hours reading the Bible. I have no right to question him. Perhaps it should all be taken as... Not so literally after all. These priests are charlatans. Embraces the Waldensian heresy. Hmm. Let's have a quick look. Because he is a lunatic now. He's hard. He's humble though, yeah. Arbitrary though. But he's honest. I think because he's humble, yeah, he's going to be like, I have no right to question him. Yeah, humble man would not question this. I feel. That's it. This is just my opinion on the character. I know you guys might disagree. Love to hear what you guys think as usual. But that's just what I feel about the character. I think he's not going to push it. That's just me. And the granddaughter that might inherit those lands, now he's an educator. Oh, she is pregnant. She's pregnant. If that's a boy, God, I will destroy her. I'll be very upset. Oh, looks like she's got both of those, playful and fussy. And she's got best at intrigue anyway, so let's go for intrigue then. She's going to be a very intriguing girl. Uh, I think this is a friendship. Let's have a quick look. I'm probably reading too much into this. I think he'll, we think this is a friendship. I think we're going to end this part here. I hope you guys have enjoyed the continued adventures of Emo. He's still living on at 71 years old. He doesn't seem to want to let go of the ghost anytime soon. Um, I don't know what to do with all that devotion. I just guess we'll invite even more of those monks. We'll just make a whole house of monks. That's basically what this place is going to be. But his sons are dying before him. Our plans are becoming undone because of this. What will happen? Will his son take over? Will his son die before him? Who knows? What type of man will Roldolf grow up to be? We'll have to wait and see. I'll see you guys then.